to coin a phrase from Back to the Future, hey, I've seen this one. This one's a classic. It's, it's one of the best reruns, right? Yeah, we, we have another rerun. Review Tech USA is again against his former editor, Jay Hooft. If you haven't followed the situation, he had an editor, Jay Hooft, who has a channel called JKB. He got rid of them, terminated their business relationship, which was fine in theory, but since then... This has been just a cycle over and over between Review Tech having issues with Jay Hooft and making these passive aggressive tweets to them suddenly being friends again and working through it, planning to get past the drama and work together in the future to back to hating each other. And I've covered it. I've gave my thoughts. It's perfectly fine to end working relationships with somebody if the money ain't there. It's it's that's just business, right? But what's not just business is when you're continuously claiming that you're not the problem, that you're not causing the drama, but then you'll see once in a while, for whatever reason, Review Tech USA stokes the flame. And I, I made a video a couple weeks ago talking about how that they claimed they made peace, that I was going to drop it, and that I wouldn't talk about it again. But honestly, wasn't planning on holding my breath of the peace being too long. In fact, the other day, like a week or so ago, Review Tech put this tweet out. Well, I tried to handle things civil, at Jay Hooft, but since you just blocked me from your Discord, I'm proud to announce that I'll be going on Locale Podcast this upcoming Tuesday to discuss my full story on what happened. Go make another thumbnail looking sad to garner pity for a live stream. That that last sentence is super, super salty and bitter. Go garner pity. Like, like fuck off, dude. Is that any way how to talk? And yeah, I get it. They, You know, people have their petty drama and their petty falling outs and stuff. But if you really look at the bigger picture of this, right? Review Tech claims he was the employer, right? And that Jay's the former employee and he terminated his working relationship with him because he didn't need an editor anymore. He claimed that he wasn't going to be doing news anymore. Well, he lied. He's still doing news. If you go to his channel, you can see he's been doing news. Oh, well, he doesn't need an editor to do that. He could do it for himself. That's fine then. Yeah. Okay. But what kind of world are we in where an employer to this day is still soaking the flames against a former employee? That's that's almost, and I hate to say the phrase, targeted harassment. If you're the employer and you're no longer working with this guy, fuck off already. And and also to touch back on that tweet where he said that he was blocked from his Discord, this actually wasn't true. This wasn't facts. Rich came into the Twitter, I mean into the Discord talking and kind of, I guess, prodding around. I think maybe a mod did temporarily ban him or suspend him or put him, like, on mute just for a little bit. I, I didn't get the full details, but it was because there was a misunderstanding if there was issues or not, and he was not banned completely. So I'm sure JKB could discuss all that and forth. But he posted this saying he's going on a locale live, which, let's be honest, the main thing that Review Tech wants in life now is, is to be a part of the locale podcast. He wants on there full time. Like he's literally sucking the ball sack of Keemstar as we speak because he wants on locale live. He wants some money. He wants to be paid, right? He doesn't want to make videos and work and edit and all this. He wants to live stream, take donations, which, okay, more power to you. If you can get it, get the donations, make your money. But then he also wants to sit on a podcast and get money of that. Like he wants, he wants to have easy money when it comes to the world of YouTube. And that's my opinion. That's my shoot opinion. So uh, going on with what's going on, they discussed it out after this tweet of, hey, I'm blocked, blah, 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 blah. And um, they made up to an extent, right? Uh, you could see there was a little bit of back and forth in regards to that situation saying, you know, you weren't, you know, you weren't this and that. Uh, Review Tech said he's more than welcome to come on Tuesday and debunk if then. If not, it's like after I let him go, he begged me to stay on, literally asked me just to take over the main channel. And JKB said, I did, since you had no passion to do the news anymore. I made a half joke saying to just give me the channel. I wouldn't say beg, but continue to do this. And they were just kind of having a back and forth, right? The same thing, like I said, the, hey, I've seen this one again. This is a good rerun. We've seen it. This was on March 13th. That's the 18th. Uh, Shortly that same day, on the 13th, Review Tech posted this video saying the inevitable. We knew this was going to happen. He decided not to go on Locale Live, that him and Jay had a phone call, that they talked. They're gonna have, this is basically the same song and dance. So let's listen to this uh, right now. Give me a second. Make sure the... 
make sure the volume is decent. So here we go. So no, one, I'm not eating at the pancake shop and two, I'm out and about right now. I think it's easier to leave a voice message and type all this out. Uh, no, the message is under me. Uh, I'm not trying to sweep them under the rug. I deleted them because I talked to Jay and this is gonna be an interesting one. We're doing a video on my channel and we're both going to be candid. We're gonna be professional, we're gonna be civil, no one's gonna yell, but we're doing it to be candid, uh, to be civil, and then from there we'll move on. Instead of doing this, like, I'm frustrated and I think this is the healthiest way to handle it. Jay agrees. When we're doing the video, we don't know, but I guess soon. So that's who I was talking to. That's why the messages are deleted. Yeah, I'm not going to do the Lol Cow podcast. This is better. I'm not going to go on there. So five days ago, five days ago, five days ago, he made this video. Same song and dance. Oh, where we we talked. We had a good conversation. We're going to have a video on my channel. We're going to clear the air. And we're going to move on. Right? Five days a fucking go. And yeah, I, I have no clue what's going on with him. He's he's fucking losing it. But. You know, the thing about it, <laughs> and that's the sad thing, is that um, for whatever reason, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll continuously get these updates where, oh, they're going to come on because they're going to work through things and yada, yada. And you can see people are skeptical about it because this is like the second or third time that we've seen this shit happen. I mean, Jay's even saying, I'm doing the video with Rich so we could both move on from it and the viewers can move on for it. That's why I agreed to do this. Let's move on, right? Okay, I get it. You guys are you guys are agreeing to move on. That's great. But the problem is we all know what the truth is, and the truth is is that there's no moving on with Review Tech. And and I hate to say this, and the reason why I'm kind of making these videos, posting about it is because I covered it the last two, three videos I made, and Jay is a friend, full disclosure. So, of course, I'm going to defend a friend, especially when somebody's being kind of a douche to them uh review tech did unfollow me by the way he unfriended me on facebook unfollowed me on twitter uh after all the situation that's gone on but anyways this is all backtracking let's talk about the up-to-date stuff which is what he tweeted just yesterday or earlier today depending on your time zone i guess he posted this hey jay hooft I knew you're interviewing Phil to garner viewership and to show that you're about positivity, but how many times did you say on stream with me that you think he's an asshole? My audience remembers too. Someone just sent me this. Good luck out there, champ. Thanks for admitting you tried to extort me on the phone, by the way. So not even five days removed from the video of him saying, hey, we're going to do a video on the main channel. He tweets this unprovoked. This is obviously a DM from somebody that JKB and somebody else had. Rich is leaking this. Isn't it funny that Rich had an issue with somebody leaking the private Facebook post of him calling JKB a parasite, but Rich has no problem leaking a private message from somebody else with JKB? So you can see this is a message that says, dude, dead ass. He said countless times he can't stand him, and now suddenly he wants to be friends and hold hands and watch WB together. And you can see in the comments, people are saying, dude, come on now, let it go. Remember when you whined about, oh my God, DMs, and you just leaked part of a convo you privately had with Jay. Yeah, I couldn't believe I saw it, blah, blah, blah. Jealous ex-girlfriend starts again. Let it the fuck go. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Uh, Rich, when it comes to continuing the drama with Jay, is, uh, I got one more in me. So it's not Jay that can't handle the uh, drama from stopping. It's, it's Rich. It's Review Tech from never ending on it completely here we fucking go again right what's the goal of this is the goal because dsp is going on in his channel you felt the need to to say something i have no clue um uh, and, and here's one of review tech's responses to the tweet you think he's gonna have phil on and i'm not gonna discuss it this wasn't a fucking breakup get real so it's not the issue that you're discussing it it's the issue that at the end of it like a jealous ex-girlfriend, you had to make that comment of, oh, thanks for admitting you were extorting me on the phone. What does that have to do with JKB interviewing DSP? Uh, I have no clue, other than the fact that you are still continuing the drama and still 
uh, fan in the flames, you can look at all of your responses to people who are quote tweeting you. Uh, so him admitting on the phone that he tried to extort me is respectful. Get lost, right? Uh, <laughs> you can see I was on the phone with him. He said that I had to stop what I was doing and call him if it was important enough. We then had a phone combo and he admitted that he was pissed off at me, that he tried to kind of extort me. He literally said these words. But see, this is the funny thing, because not even five days ago, he was just saying that they talked, things were good, they're going to make a video on his main channel, and move past the drama. Who's the one that can't move past the drama, uh, uh, looking from all this? And you can see they actually had an exchange on here. Um, Jay says, one mention of DSP and look who shows up. This is embarrassing at this point. Clearly didn't catch my sarcasm. Who came up with Fat Dracula? Couldn't help yourself as usual. And then Review Tech says, didn't you admit to extorting me on the phone? Don't magically grow a moral compass for the public now, man. You're so disingenuous. Jesus Christ. Have fun, man. And you can see JKB replies, everyone knows exactly what happened. I didn't hide that. You tried to fuck me over. You also apologized for doing so. I think you've shown everyone over the last month how disingenuous you are. And that's with someone you worked with for six years, right? And JKB just says, good luck. I mean, uh, Review Tech says, good luck, man. May the more entertaining person win. May the more entertaining person win. Is this, is this just a big game to Review Tech USA at this point? Like, just causing all this drama is just a big game. And you can see he's he's just continually taking little pot shots, like, as evident in this reply. Um, somebody said they already did, and that's at Jay Hooped. And then so he goes, come back to me this time next year. Let's compare and see where we both are. You want me to shut up now? Okay, I will. Keep in mind, this all started because I had an opinion on him interviewing DSP, which if it was anyone else, my opinion would have flew like a fart in the wind. So now he's saying the only reason why things are riling up is because he made a response to Jay Hooped interviewing DSP that if it was anybody else nobody would have cared about it well I'm sorry to break it to you Review Tech USA you're the one who caused all this backlash for yourself I've seen it in your comments in your replies literally every tweet every video every community post everything that you're posting people are on your ass because of the way that you're acting towards Jay you tried to paint some kind of picture that you're a victim you're not a victim you are a shit stirrer you cause problems. You accuse people of leaking your Facebook posts like me. You try to cause casually, passively aggress against everybody that you interact with, no matter who it is. You're the one that causes the drama to continue. And then when it happens, you try to look like you're the bigger man. And now you're like, oh, well, this backlash is only happening because it's against JKB. And then you're saying come back in a, this time next year. Like, like you're almost like downplaying him like... Like, oh yeah, he's nothing. His his stats, like you're you're punching down. You're 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 being like, oh, I'm a bigger, bigger channel, and let's look up next year when our stats are all this and that. And it's just ass. It's just ass. And honestly, this is the tweet that sent him over the edge. This is this is how unhinged he is. It was this. This was the announcement. DSP and I are going to do a stream together soon. I've always wanted to talk to him about gaming. It'll be a chill, relaxed stream. Two men talking about life and gaming. It'll be positive and to be fucking honest. I'm sick of the negative bullshit. What did that have to do with Review Tech USA at all? To cause Review Tech USA to post that original tweet that was like, oh, look at this screenshot from that leaked DM. Oh, he's only he's only interviewing DSP for attention and, and all this crap, right? What what caused it? That's that's what I want to know. This whole this whole tweet right here coming out for attention and posting it was a response to him saying he's gonna have DSP. Like, okay, who gives a fuck if he said that he hated DSP in the past and thought he was an asshole? He has every right to interview who the fuck he wants on his channel without your fucking bullshit nonsense. Without your bullshit nonsense. And this was the response, actually, that JKB had to him saying, let's let's check this time next year. He said, uh, let me spoil a plot for you guys. He's saying that's because in six months, when he still has the same viewership as he does now, and I have less, he could say, I told you, I am the winner. I mean, when it comes to views, you win. I wouldn't bring up revenue or memberships, though. This is getting pretty, pretty solid. And you can see right here, this you're unable to view this post. This was a review tech tweet right here that... He changed the way that his post can see. He He's not allowing certain posts to be quote tweeted or retweeted anymore. He's starting to kind of hide his feed. Uh, again, like I said, 
um, I've been unfollowed. I probably will be blocked really soon, pretty soon. Uh, and you can just see uh, last night, Jay was just continuing to talk about what happened and replying to people. He said, everyone knows exactly what I said. When Rich said he was fucking me over for payment, I said, this isn't going to end well for you in a very heated convo. He literally apologized days later and paid me. I never admitted to extorting him. I said it did get heated, and I said that it wouldn't end well for him. He's clearly so upset that I gave him a terrible fucking review as a boss. And you can see it's just starting to get pretty um, pretty hardcore. And, you know, Jay's not taking it anymore. But, again, and I've told Jay this in private, you guys make up every fucking week and then break up every week. Like, at this point, it's best for you two guys to move on. He said, uh, Dickie's made it clear that he picks drama over taking any responsibility over the situation. At this point, it's beyond embarrassing. I feel bad for the people who watch us both. I'm not perfect and doing my best on how to deal with a crazy ex-boyfriend online. At this point, I'll just have fun with it. And you really should. And you can see uh, he's going on to reiterate what he meant by, you know, in six months, Rich will say, I was right. I told you so. So let me reiterate this. He has one million subscribers. I had a dead channel. I have five to seven K active subscribers now. Of course, he will have more views than me in a year. He won't bring up revenue, though. He acted really strange when I made more money than he did on his own streaming show. I guess it's my lack of talent that brought in more support than he got. You know, this is so fucking petty of review tech. And and that's why I said it seems like it was because his live streams were doing so much better than uh, review tech's own were doing. Like he guarded his own audience that review tech couldn't have that. He was like, you know what? I don't want JKB to get his own audience. So I'm fucking canning him. It was almost like a jealousy thing. And again, I'm tired of this whole flip flop back and forth between the two. I even said this right here. I said, Okay, here we go again, like from GTA. And he said, dude, Dickie's lost his mind. I think you and I should have a discussion about this some point soon. I'm 110% to have JKB on the channel. So if you guys want that to happen, comment down below. Let me know if you want me to have him on the channel. We'll just talk about this and things of relating to all this situation and then more. Um, I'd be down for that uh, to set it up. So let me know and be sure to let JKB know that he should come on so we know. But yeah, this whole situation is just stupid. Like if you really sit back and take a look at it, Review Tech's continuing on. He's the one obviously continuing on. And I did talk about this in response to Smash JT's video the other day. He made a video that painted JKB in the bad light for whatever reason. And I have no idea why because he only showed one side of the equation. Uh, when you're watching my videos, I'm showing what's on Twitter which is everything. And he's like, yeah, you know, fair point, Eric, but you're Jay's friend, so it's really hard to consider what you're saying. And I'm like, okay, me being Jay's friend didn't cause Review Tech to post on Facebook calling him a parasite. Me being Jay's friend hasn't caused him to be passively aggressive towards him, to be a snake, a two-faced snake towards him. I genuinely feel that Review Tech USA has something going on that, He's not able to control at this moment, and and you hate to fucking see it. Uh, again, he unfriended me. I'm sure I will be soon uh, blocked on social media, and um, I don't know. I just I wanted to follow up on this because it's probably going to, again, they're going to make up, and who knows. And I feel th th that's one of Jay's weaknesses as a friend is he's a nice guy. He generally wants to move forward. And he'll do what it takes to make it as amicable and as easy as possible. He will always be like, you know what, Rich? It's Life's too short. Best of luck. We're good. Move on. He generally didn't want to ruin anything that Rich had. But at this point, when Rich is continually flip-flopping like every few days and, and posting these wild unhinged posts and sending his followers, you know, your way, I, can, I don't blame if JKB gets tired of it. So, ugh, I mean... I want to know your thoughts on this because this is not looking good for him. If you look at all review text posts, like literally his comments, there's people flaming for this. And again, you know, they're like, you're, you're doing this again. Come on, man. So that's what's going on. Um, let me know your thoughts. And if you would like to see Jay talk about this with me on the channel, I'd be happy to do that. I, I just think review tech, if you're watching this man, move on. Who cares? There was no reason to throw a pot shot about being extorted just because he announced that he's interviewing DSP. That had nothing to do with the situation. Quit At this point, if people are sending you screenshots of 
combos that JKB's having with them and it has any kind of like mentions of you, they're just stoking the flames. They're trying to get it going on. And, and what you did was the equivalent of showing something that was a private conversation. Like what what if somebody had a private conversation with you and you said something about Jay and, and they sent it to Jay? You guys, if you, if you truly want to move on, you're going to have to just ignore what people are saying and, and not point the finger at somebody else at this point. So let me know your thoughts, guys. I'll see you on the next one.